All right, you guys, we want to take you on a tour of our uh, next resort. This is the Intercontinental in Bora Bora. And uh, we are in room 129. It is a bungalow. Um, we are third to the last. And it's pretty spacious. Um, this is a $1,500 a night room. It's got its own living space um, with all the things that you would need. Um, it's got breezes coming in through the shutters. At least it's also got screens so that no bugs will come in if there's any bugs um, as well. Um, we were given complimentary champagne, two bottles of it. We don't really drink a lot of champagne, but um, we took one home uh, and drank the other. We did get some fruit as well. Um, and it overlooks the coffee table that is open down into the water so hopefully tonight we'll see some fish um, they did give us a Bora Bora bag as a gift as well um, it's got a work table if you needed to work it's got an espresso machine um, we, we're not espresso people but we did drink some since it's complimentary um, it's got a refrigerator however this resort doesn't really have any sodas or beer or anything like that for us it's only got some water um, to drink and or make some tea. Um, and it's got the full view of the outside. Um, now, it's also got a work desk right here. They did just drop us off our suitcase. Um, it's got the work desk right there and it overlooks the window. Um, this is the bedroom area. It's um, really, really pretty. It's got the chargers right at the bedside there. It's got reading lights. It's got ceiling fans. Um, but the I think the best thing about this bedroom, um, and it's not just the grand decoration, but it's the view right out there where you can either leave it open all night or all day um, or whatnot. Um, it's also got a door straight out to the patio area where you can just, you know, get up in the morning and um, just go for a swim. All right, you guys, let's take you guys back in the room and finish the tour of the room. Uh, again, you know, every room has a TV, but we're in paradise. We didn't even turn the TV on, actually. It's got a hot tub that we can kind of overlook the waters as well. Um, and then it's got his and her sinks. Uh, let me take you around the corner here. Look at how beautiful this bathroom is. Um, it's got the his and her robe as well. But unfortunately, we didn't even use the tub because we were too busy out in the ocean. It's got its own shower with multiple shower heads. Very, very beautiful. Then, um, obviously, we got to show you where the throne is. And it's actually... Um, the toilet is actually in the closet here. That's the one bad thing. I'm not sure why they put the toilet room in where the closet is. Um, but it's got a door so we can shut it when we're in there. But it's got everything that you need. Um, it's got umbrella in case it rains. It's got life jackets if you need life jackets. Fire extinguisher because the roof is made of grass. Um... And then this is another scene out from the bed. Um, you can sit at the desk and kind of look out to the waters as well. And the headboard of the bed is actually part of the desk. And then we're back to the living area. Yeah, and this is it. Um, this is the room tour. Um, and then we'll take you guys right outside um, to just tour a little bit on the outside as well. well actually, a lot of it on the outside. Uh, like I said, we did get an upgrade to um, a higher class, I guess. It's got a partial view of Otomanu, 
and so any view of Otomanu is considered an you know, upgrade. Um, we were third to the last in the bungalow, uh, which means that we are pretty far out into the lagoon um, where the waters are a lot deeper. Um, we did book a beach view bungalow, um, and that's what I had wanted. But I guess they gave us an upgrade, and my husband said, oh, well, if they're going to give us an upgrade, we'll take it. Um, I'm not sure how much the upgrade really cost more. Um, the rooms are pretty much the same. This resort actually has an organic garden. And so here's a little clip of some of the vegetables that they grow in here. It was quite interesting. This is their spa area, and when you're on the table, you're actually looking down at the fishes. Here's another view of our bungalow. Uh, we are third to the last, and that is our bungalow right there. The Intercontinental actually has a Garden of Love. Um, and it's actually very, very cute. Uh, so what, what you do is you buy a lock and uh, you come into this section and you go over to one of the trees over here and you lock, you actually lock your lock into one of these uh, hooks here to the tree. And then what you do with the key is then you put it in the mouth of this statue here and you lock your love away. We actually didn't do that because um, superstition in the Hmong community. Uh, so we didn't do that. But it's actually something that you can do here. I have to show a little bit of food for the food enthusiasts. And last but not least, this is the reason why people come to Bora Bora. It is for the fishes. They are so abundant and beautiful. So enjoy this last clip.